come to video 21 which is a tutorial on bearings. Again these videos are for AQA Unit 3 Higher Paper and they're particularly aimed at students who previously sat foundation papers who are trying this higher paper. In this video I'm going to go through what bearings are, how to measure them and draw them, I would suggest you do a revision card and then move straight on to video 22 which will be the past paper exam questions that came up on bearings. Okay, let's start straight away. What are bearings? Well, bearings measure direction or angle of movement. So they're a way of measuring a, a, an angle in which you're moving. Okay, And there are three important features of bearings that you need to know. And you always need to remember when you're writing your bearings or measuring your bearings, etc. The first thing is that bearings always are measured from north. They're measured from due north, okay? So um, that means that in a point is, if you're measuring, say, that direction, you have to measure how far it is from the north, okay? So this is your movement here. You want to measure how far from the north. The second thing is that they must be measured in a clockwise direction. You never measure anti-clockwise, no. You always measure clockwise from north. The third thing is that they must contain three digits, okay? You must write your angles with three digits. Now, if your bearing is 320 degrees, well, you're done. But if your angle is something like 40, then you should write it as 040, for example. Okay? And that's the basics of bearings. Okay, let's go straight on to measuring bearings. Okay. Imagine I told you... I was starting at point A, which is here, and I asked you, on what bearing do I need to walk to get to point B? How would I work that out? Well, the first thing you'd have to do is you'd have to draw north lines at A and B, because everything to do with bearings is measured from the north. Then what you do is you would consider on what direction from the north do I have to walk to be on the line that's walking directly from A to B? So at that point, you'd get out your protractor and you'd put the corner of your protractor, uh, the zero here on that corner, and you'd twist it round and you're going to measure this time from where zero is on the outside, you're measuring from the north and that bearing looks like it's about 70. Okay, so it looks about 70 degrees. But you wouldn't write that as a bearing of 70, you'd write 0, 7, 0. And that's the bearing uh, of B from A. Okay? And that's 0, 7, 0. Let's just uh, think of the wording here. It's saying the, the bearing you have to get to, to get to B, starting from A. Okay? So you have to get your of and your from's correct way around. Okay, what's the bearing, now let's do the second one, what's the bearing of A from B? Okay, so this is uh, the direction we've got to move from the north, but clockwise until we're walking along the line that gets us from B to A. So it's that whole angle there. Now, there are two ways of doing it. If you're not confident with your angle knowledge, Firstly, you know that uh, this here would be a straight line. If I just continued it here, that, that would be a straight line. We should use our ruler properly there. And then we would measure the extra degrees, the extra angle it would take from that north line, from that due south line, and that's another uh, 70. So it would be 180 uh, plus 70, and I'm getting 180 plus 70 is 250, okay, 250 degrees. Now, there's a, there's a nicer way of working out, so the answer to this is 250. But there's a much nicer way of working it out than that, um, which, so I'm going to rub that out, there's a much, much better way, and this is it. You know that 
interior angles between parallel lines add to 180. If you were to imagine this, this is like a C angle or an interior set of angles. So that one, by definition, must be whatever it takes to add to 180, so it's 110. And therefore, the bearing we're looking for, this outside bearing, is 360 minus 110, which is 250, as we've got before. Okay, and that's the bearing of A from B, starting at B, getting back to A. Okay, now I'm going to go through a quite a complicated example. Every possible sort of scenario of you know measuring bearings I can think of, and let's check we can cover everything off. So you could have a go at this one yourself. Pause the, the screen and just put your uh, protractor up to the screen. Or if you're still not confident, just watch me through this, and this should cover all options on bearings. Okay, what's the bearing of B from A? So, you are starting at A and you're going to B here. So, you're measuring from the north, you want to measure that angle there. So, as always, get your protractor out and let's do it. So, put your protractor on that edge there. And this looks like to me it's about 66 degrees. So writing that here, I would write 066, and the answer is 066. Now, by definition here, the two north lines are parallel, and this angle and this angle must be interior or C angles. So this is whatever it takes to add up to 180, and that turns out to be 114 there. Now, we could just double-check it for ourselves. If we're forgetting the exam, we could just double-check what that is. Uh, measuring from the inside zero here, it does look like it's 114, and we've done that right. Now, therefore, what is the bearing of A from B? If you're starting at B, how do you get back to A? Well, what they're asking for, remember, is from the north, this big angle here. So if you know this one's 114, this one must be 360, subtract 114, which is 246. Okay, and you're done in that part. Now it says measure the bearing of C from B. So you're starting at B now and you're going towards C. So what they want, I'm just going to rub this out for now. Remember that was 114, it's there. They want this angle here. Again, protractor out, put it at the zero point here, twist it round, uh, the zeros on the outside here, it looks to me like it's about 85 exactly. So this is 85, but we write 085. So the answer for this is 085. Okay, the measuring of, uh, the bearing of B from C. So they want this whole angle here. Well, remember, we know this one because it's an interior angle with that. It must be 95. So this one here must be 360 minus 95, which is 265. Okay, and we're nearly done now. Let's just consider the last question of A from C. So they want to get from C directly to A. So we need to draw in a line here that we don't even currently have. Is that line we want here. So the angle we want, let's just rub this out here. The angle we want here is this whole angle here. Okay, now I'm going to rub this little bit out as well here. An easy way of getting this, rather than try and measure that whole angle, if we measured if we measured the angle from the north this way until we get to this line, which looks like to me is going to be 105 approximately, so this whole angle here is 105, then this, this bearing here we, we got easily is 360 take away 105. Okay, it's 255, so the outside angle here must be 255. So this is 255. Okay, what about C from A? Well, all we're doing here, forget this here, 
we're starting at A and we want to get to the line that gets us to C. So put our, put our line there, uh, measure from the north until we get to this line here and it's going to be 75 degrees. And we knew that anyway because they should be interior or C angles. So that's 75. But again, we don't write like that. We write 0, 075 because it's a bearing. Okay, and that's really about as hard as it could get measuring bearings. Remember, uh, from is the key word here. From tells you where you are starting and of tells you where you are going to. So that tells you your starting point and that's really the key. Okay, now a quick example on drawing a picture out using bearings. So let's have a look. This is the other thing that can come up in the exam that ship A is on a bearing of 0, 060 0 from the point A, and this is our point A, and ship B is on a bearing of 300 from B, and this is our point B. Complete the diagram to show where the ships will meet. First thing you do, always very important, draw in your north lines, because every, all bearings are measured from the north. So, all we'll start off by doing the, the obvious there and labelling in that that is north and that is north. Okay, you want to draw out the path that ship A is going on. It's going, going on a bearing of 0, 060, 0, so 60 degrees from the north. So get your retractor out and you're going to need a ruler for this as well. Okay, so put the ruler down here. You want to measure 60 degrees from here. So put your protractor. Um, You've got zero on the outside here, and you put a mark where you see 60 degrees. So there, I've put a mark exactly where 60 degrees is. Just move that to one side now for now. And then that is the direction that ship A must be going in. Ship A is going along that direction, which you said is a bearing of 0, 6, 0. Okay, and we've done, and we've got some easy marks there. Okay, that's the direction we're going in. Okay, now just moving these to one side. Now, ship B is on a bearing of 300 from B. That means we need to measure 300 degrees that way. Okay, but easier than that, we can measure 60 degrees from that side, and whatever's left over must be the 300 we need. So rather than trying to measure out 300, let's measure 60 from this side. Okay, so put your protractor here. Uh, and let's measure 60 degrees. Here the zero is on the inside, so measuring 60 degrees and the mark is approximately there. Okay, that's 60 there. Okay, and from this point, the bearing is approximately there, so This is our uh, angle of 360 degrees here. So where they meet is approximately where the two bearings cross. So that's where ship A and ship B meet. Just move this over here and this up here so you can see a bit better. They meet where the two directions of bearings cross over each other. Okay, and that's all you need to know for bearings for the exam. So do remember, a bearing is a direction of movement or, an, or a direction of angle of movement. It's got three key components. It's measured from the north, clockwise, and has three digits. And do remember um, the various ways of measuring and drawing out bearings. Move straight on to now video 22, the past paper exam questions that have come up on bearings. Thank you for watching the video.